Surviving Maine Season 3 kicks off with two tribes separated into four groups. Four players from each tribe will walk to a central location. Eventually, all 16 players will gather together and the game will start. But for these Miko members, the game has already begun. I'm Stephanie, I'm 34 years old. I'm a special education teacher from Weymouth, Massachusetts, and I'm here to play Survive in Maine. Yeah. I didn't get no. notified that I was doing this until 15 hours ago. Get out of here! I have never seen Survivor. I've seen the first episode of Surviving Maine. I know one of the members of production, and she asked me if I wanted to do it because awesome. someone dropped out, and I told her, give me until 5.30. <laughs> all right. Let so me clear I, the weekend. Yeah, so I could list out all the pros and cons. <laughs> I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to say no to this. I'm going to be uncomfortable. Yes. And here I am. A lot of the people coming here today will probably know a lot about Survivor. Um, and when they find out that I do not, they might not take me as too much of a threat or take me seriously at all. So hopefully I can prove them wrong. Have you ever done anything like this before? Nope. Same, go. No. Same. Good. You too? Yeah. What about you, Justin? I have played before. I'm not going to lie about that. Spoiler alert. I've played a couple of these games before. I feel like I'm going to go in with a little bit of a reputation. I just don't want my reputation to be that thing that separates me from everyone else. So I've got to find ways around that. Yeah, Miko. Miko, yeah, that's a nice easy one. Yeah. I don't know what that is. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Hi, everybody. Hi. I'm Jess. I'm Mike. Dan. I'm here for an adventure. It's totally out of what I've ever done before. I mean, I do enjoy camping. I do enjoy the game of Survivor, but to be out here doing Survivor, basically, in the elements is interesting, and I'm very excited. So where's everybody from? I'm from uh, Massachusetts, just north of Boston. Nice. Cool. I'm from Mass as well. I'm from Montreal. Oh, nice. That's not too far. Cool. Where are you? I'm from, oh, Sorry. I'm from Beverly. I'm Beverly, yeah. <laughs> I'm from Buffalo. Nice. Oh, nice. Yeah. yeah. yeah I'm, from, I'm from Vermont. Hi, I'm Andy. I'm 36, and I'm from Vermont. So Surviving Maine was the first LRG that I actually watched. And so it was the one that like got me really excited about the whole concept of a bunch of people you know, living out our, our dreams of being on Survivor in you know, this really cool place. So. 
something about like the first meeting of people, especially yeah, like in the show too, you start to see like, like the initial connections. Right. Even if we get split up along the way, like right. we'll always kind of, I don't know, for me at least, no, unless you guys all you turn mean. out to be jerks, like in, it a, might in be. an hour, right? It might be. I don't know. <laughs> oh, I've never slept outside. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't? Yeah, yeah, a lot, oh, okay. a lot of times. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> I have the idol. Um, I don't know how I managed to not get caught by Kai or Steph, but I I showed them my my allergy meds and shook that right in front of them and I was like, look, oh hi guys, this is what I've got. So anybody needs it. So then I was as I was throwing that right back into my bag, I lifted my bag up just high enough so that way I could snatch the the little, the little pouch that was sitting there right behind the tribe flag and stuffed it all right back into my bag all at the same time. I don't know how to pronounce her. Uh, as a man? As a man? Yeah, I don't know. Depends on your accent. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he went first. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> as a man. Nobody could have helped us right. pronounce it. I feel like I'm, I'm bringing <laughs> some of, buffalo in this. As a band. I keep thinking band. of Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, ask about. As the band. Oh, where the Someone goes to. As the band. Yeah, it's like the. I think it's the Abateki, also another word I couldn't pronounce. But I like, Googled it real quick. Oh. It's like the, the, god, the, god, like the raccoon god of mischief. Oh. oh. Like, and yeah. there is a raccoon? As a band? Yeah. Cool. Oh. It's worth a mischief try. Oh, it does have a raccoon eye. Cool. Yeah, what's up? Yeah, we do have a raccoon eye. Yeah. Hi, I'm, I'm engaged. Yeah. Thank you. I invite yeah. Say Congrats. she's staying at home. So, uh, it's been like that boat since November. I proposed to her. So, awesome. yeah. 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 So, that was it. What about you guys? Are you married? Single. Let's Looking do it. Yeah. Hello. Let's go back and try it. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. 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 I'm saying. Yeah. I'm saying. I mean, not gonna forget their, 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 No, absolutely not. That's the truth, though, you guys. Hi, my name is Matt Sullivan. I am 26. I'm from Boston, Massachusetts. Currently a resident of Kennebunk, Maine. Um, I'm here because I'm a recent new fan of Survivor. Uh, during the pandemic, it was like the thing that I latched onto as like a new fun hobby to completely dive into. My first season was Game Changers and there was a lot of queer people on there and it made me kind of excited to see some people do some cool shit on TV. So uh, I would love to see if I can do that here. Does anybody go by anything else, nicknames or otherwise that we should anybody else prefer? That's a great question. Yeah, that is. Um, my pronouns are he, they. Okay. Um, either's fine. Yeah. Any pronouns for me, I don't care. She, her. He, her. This is cool. so 2022. <laughs> I love this. Hi, I'm Caitlin. I'm a women's rugby coach. Nice. Oh, what? Nice. Wow, that's fast. Yeah. 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 yeah, for University of New England. <laughs> oh, cool. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Women's rugby teaches you a lot about, like, size doesn't matter. You can do anything if you put your mind to it. Um, and also just like the tenacity of being able to get out there and hit people. I think kind of the same, like you hit people hard with the vote sometimes in this game. <laughs> okay, where are you guys all from? I'm from Rumford. It's about an hour oh, and 20 minutes. Got our first yeah. Mainer. Mainer, okay. My name is Mary Ellen Carrier. I am 46. I am here for this experience because I'm a huge Survivor fan. Never miss an episode on CBS. So uh, once I found out that Maine was having one, I definitely had to take the opportunity to come out here and try it. So I'm pretty excited about that. Do you guys know anybody playing? No. no. Okay. I'll they would also prevent that. Maybe. Maybe. Well, my know. sister was actually going to play and then she <coughs> fractured her ankle last oh. week. So. Oh, no. Yeah. Is she the, maybe she's, let me be her spot. Yeah. My name is Larry. I am from Augusta, Maine, and I am 29 years old. I have to adapt to every type of situation when I work at a senior living home. You never know. We've got family coming in. We've got to interact with the residents that are living there. I've got to deal with my coworkers and their drama. So. It gives me a lot of practice in this type of situation, um, but I've never actually done anything like this before, so. I'm 
there. The last one. Here we go. This is it. Final group. Hello. 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 How are you? Who are you all? <laughs> Delaney. 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 I'm Samantha. <laughs> Trisha. Um, I actually became a, fi a fan of Survivor through the LRG community, so um, I love playing these things, but I haven't played a live game since 2019. Um, the first game that I played was Survival Challenge Season 7, which Justin has also played, which I just saw him walk by, so... I'm a Falcon. Oh, oh, wow. Right. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Might take the award for longest trip. <laughs> did you fly or did you drive? Be like, I <laughs> Hi, my name is Trisha, and I'm from Orange, California. But I'm in between careers. I used to teach sociology at a college in Connecticut, and um, in a couple months I'll be starting a master's program so I can become a therapist. Oh, okay. That's a pretty, but right now I do pottery and DoorDash. So. <laughs> <laughs> I love artsy people because I don't have an artistic bone in my body. <laughs> Hello. My name is Samantha. I am 27 years old and I am from Lisbon Falls, Maine. This will be my fourth game that I've played. The most recent one was in South Africa and I came in third. I would have won if they didn't go to Final Tribal 2. I was on the same tribe as Wendell. Wendell actually helped me get oh, as far as I did in the game because he gave me a lot of pointers. Oh, oh yeah, we, awesome. we're about to head into this challenge, aren't we guys? Oh, I don't know. So. Everybody stretched today? What would you guys do with your team? All right. Just, but don't like hold it, like bring it. Because you gotta be like you moving. If, like, if we just did like a cheer right like now. Like Corey grab something. <laughs> Welcome to Surviving Maine Season 3. Woo! All right, we're going to get things started right here. We have our two tribes, Miko and Azaban. Um, Azaban, how are you feeling? Great. Good. Woo! Good. Does anybody want to tell us about how the walk up to, to here went? It was hot. Uh, <laughs> about good. 10 minutes long. Already sweating. Yeah. Already sweating. Good, good. What about for Miko? How was your walk up? It was exciting. It was, it was yep. dusty. Yeah. It was. <laughs> it was good first Not impressions, though. Yeah. yeah. Good yeah. first impressions. How did that? How did that go over, Kaya? Good. I like these people so far. Good. Good. How were the first impressions for Azaban? Anybody want to volunteer? They're good. So far, so good. Yeah. 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 Starting to figure out how everybody fits in. Some people might be troublemakers. <laughs> Oh man! Out, like, yeah. <laughs> in a good, in a good way. In a good way. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we're gonna go right in and jump into our first challenge right now. So for this challenge, we're gonna have three people on your tribe who are gonna be balancers, who are gonna balance on the spools. Two people who are going to be the people who move the spools. One puzzle solver, and one uh, sandbag thrower. The balancers are going to ride on the spools to the first table to collect a bag of puzzle pieces and then to the second table to leave the bag of puzzle pieces and then ride the spool or walk on the spool all the way back and then the second person is going to go do the same thing, third person, same thing. The spotter is going to stand behind them so we make sure nobody falls backwards and gets hurt. Um, and then one person will solve the puzzle. So on the puzzle pieces, um, most of them will have matches, the ones that do not have a match are the numbers that you use to unlock the box to get the sandbags. The first tribe to throw their sandbags on top of the spools at the end wins a reward. Um, the reward is going to be an advantage in the next challenge. All right, so I'll give you a few minutes to strategize. Survivors ready? Go! Caitlin's going first for Miko. And Jessica's going first for Azaban. Azaban's moving quickly so far. There's a little bump coming up. Brace yourself. Nice job. Now I would lift it and push it this way. Bring it this way. Can I jump off? No, no, you gotta keep coming. No, no, no. 
You gotta go back. Miko's gotta go back. Slow down. Bump. Actually, just you can do most of it yourself. Good job. Good job. Good job. Okay. Azamans on their way back after dropping off their first bag of puzzle pieces. We're gonna have to go around that table, so if you guys. Yeah, I'm gonna start to your left. Will that work? Yep. Nice communication. You guys take your time. Great job, guys. We don't have to go fast. We literally have a whole round ahead of them. Mike's working hard to make sure his tribe keeps it slow. Caitlin's reaching for the first bag of puzzle pieces for Miko. Who's that? Who's that? Come on, I got it. You are doing so You're well. Doing awesome. And it's Kaya going for Miko. Ready? Keep going, keep going. Don't, don't. Okay, got it. Good job. Turn around. Delaney dropped off the second bag of puzzle pieces for Azaban and is on her way back. This looks so easy. We're going to shift a little bit. We've already picked up more and more time. We're good. Trisha is going out for the last bag of puzzle pieces for Azaban. Yeah, Trish! Wait, wait, wait. Keep your feet behind Trisha. you as much as you can. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. You know when you're ready? I'm ready. Nice. Ready? Okay. Careful, careful. And Miko's heading back. How did they hold it? In the mouth. <laughs> ah. Welcome to the post All right, all right, again. Right. Oh. <laughs> You're doing so good. They're doing so awesome. They haven't even got their last You're person yet. Such a no. great job. Azaban's almost ready to drop off their third bag of puzzle pieces. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Woo, get off. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. And Stephanie's going to be the third person for Miko. Okay, All right. okay we go a little faster. Stephanie is moving quick. All right, so Mary Ellen, I'm going to stop leaning back a little. Okay. We're doing great. Work. Stephanie has the second bag of puzzle pieces for Miko. While Trisha's almost all the way back for Azaban. You're doing great. You're killing it. Stephanie is cruising. With your words, yes. Yeah, and Miko's still working on their way back with Stephanie on the spool. I can even maybe go a little faster. Slow, slow, slow. Yes, you mark. Yeah. Yeah. I looked in those blue eyes, bro. You saved me. Sam thinks she has the puzzle and is now working on the combo for the lock. Yeah, so it's silver, silver, silver. So I did, I did this, and then I did this, and then I did this. Uh, these two go together. These three here. Both tribes testing out some locks to see if they have it. That's the one. That's one. Great, great job. John has the first Woo! lock off for Miko. Got and John has the second lock off for Miko. Oh, this will be a big comeback. Justin's gonna start with the sandbags. Yeah, yeah. so, it, it's okay, but maybe there's something wrong with our pieces. Sam going back to check your matches. Well, Justin keeps so taking close. shots with the sandbags. That doesn't match. Not right. Oh, still working on the puzzle. Oh. Oh, it's not Sam the same. Sam has the first lock undone for Azaban. Why is this not? Oh, please. Two, eight, four. Oh, 
of that really locked down we had really good communication so it's really like you know the 10 percent we messed up i'm not too worried about it do you agree william absolutely <laughs> i think our team had great chemistry and i'm really looking forward to working with you guys great so we're going to send you to your camps and you're going to get some time to start setting up getting it ready uh for the storm that's going to come tonight oh, no. um each tribe's going to get a tarp because of the storm um bug and tick spray a pot and an axe and some rice. No flint. Um, so you'll have some time to set up your camps, get it how you want it. All right, you guys can head to camp. So then we go into our first reward challenge. Um, as soon as I heard that there was a cornhole kind of beanbag tossing aspect to it, I knew that's the part I wanted because that's the one thing I told my group I'm good at. And I was up against Will, who I do know from outside the game. We played survival challenge together. We're good friends now, but we were arch nemeses in that game. Um, and luckily I pulled it out for my team. We came from behind, even with that blunder. We were able to win the reward and I think it boosted our morale, gave us a little bit of momentum. So what are, what are meals like here? Rice. It is, oh, it is just rice? Yeah. So, okay, so they don't not feed us. We uh, get something. We have the rice we just earned, but right. we don't have fire right now, so we can't boil water to make it. Fire. Like, this feels like the real deal, and I'm just really happy to be here. Okay. Right here? This is actually a lot. Yeah, this is a little shorter. Yeah, it's a lot more workable. And I really like my tribe. We've been bonding, and it seems like we're bonding a little bit more than the other tribe. I think we should start making this space be a fire space. Like, we are a good team. We're talking. We knew each other's strengths and weaknesses. We are, like, already working together really good. How much wider should we make this space? Enough for um, our whole tribe to sit at because we're not going home. So is the Help fire going <laughs> here? But we've got a solid group. This is a group that's going to communicate well. This is going to be a group that's going to want to have fun together. It's going to suck once we actually have to vote somebody out because I don't know who, who we're going to end up targeting. They're all so awesome. You know, we're just having conversations, you know, chill conversations, and they're all such good people. And it's really going to be tough who to try to find to align with and stuff. Please, Guys, this that was is coming awesome together out there. so nicely. That was awesome. It's all given together so nicely. It's like we've been living here forever. Try <laughs> that. I have rope, I'm just taking my sweet ass time to get it to you. <laughs> Don't worry. Don't worry, I'm on my way. I'm having a good time. Yeah, this is uh, not as bad as I, well, I shouldn't speak yet, but things are going good so far. The first challenge was good, so I think that really helped me realize like, hey, you can meet people and like do things not by yourself. This. We need this down. No, it's not coming down. There's a couple of faces that I recognize. 
recognize uh, from both the online realm that I'm part of and then the live realm. Um, my friend that uh, got me into playing uh, the live games played with Justin and Justin won that game. So that's something I want to keep in my back pocket. Luckily though, I actually don't know anybody on my tribe. Um, I know Justin has played a game like this before, so I'm kind of keeping my eye on him and seeing what he does. I know of a couple people, so I've like seen them in the online world, but I don't know them, know them. But I'm hoping maybe some of those small kind of online acknowledgement will build some relationships early with people like Larry. Basically, as long as I'm not out first, I'm good. <laughs> so even when y'all were on the spool, like, you guys killed that like that. The spool looks so hard. I know we were like pushing or whatever, but being on it looks so hard. Yeah. And y'all were just like, my legs. And it's so sorry. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Justin's oh. face when I jumped off, he was like, no. <laughs> you were like, Sometimes reaching. I get a little intense. Right? <laughs> yeah. But I also no, was good. like, oh, I love that. Good. We need to have but, fire when we do that. But it was awesome though. Like they were getting cocky. Like, uh -huh. They could be like, oh, oh we're round I heard them. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. And so then. We feel really yeah. good for tomorrow now that we just like beat them. I still can't believe he's out here and full of jeans. Oh my god. Yeah. That's gotta be so bizarre. I almost like, kept my jeans. The chafing? Oh, yeah. shit. No. I'm like, yeah. well, tomorrow's supposed to be wet, so. Yeah. I, I don't I wanna be in wet, wet, wet jeans! jeans. Oh! oh. <laughs> So Matt actually whispered to me before the start of the first challenge and he said that he saw someone grab something. I was laying down during the break with my hat kind of down a little bit trying to watch everybody and the other tribe, the guy in the raccoon hat grabbed an idol from behind the flag. I've already told Mary Ellen. Um, someone did come up to me and said someone found an idol so we need to discuss that later. But <laughs> so I was like, oh really? That's good to know. <laughs> So I'm excited to chat to her a little bit more. And then I also mentioned it to Larry because I felt like that group of four that came in first might be telling each other later. And I just want our side, if that matters at all, um, to know about it. Yeah. 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 Almost just killed a tribe mate. <laughs> <laughs> I am so sorry. <laughs> Got like a really good vibe off of uh, forgetting names. I think her name's Jess. Uh, she seems to be like really chill, down to earth, but still easy to talk to. Um, and I, I have a suspicion that she's got a really good mind for the game. And honestly, that's what I'm looking for in an ally is somebody who can sort of keep their cool and help me like think through things because I am not going to be able to get through this on my own. <laughs> I've done a couple of um more than a couple of online orcs. I got into this live playing because of the pandemic. Um, I played Pandora with um, a few people that are here, and I won the first season I played, which was season three. I know Mike um, from Pandora, and I know Justin from Grand Pandora, and I also played my first season with Will from Pandora. They're very strong players. Yeah. Are we grabbing this? These already have things. Wait, is this our spice? Yeah. yeah. Oh. 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 All right, then. Yeah. So, all right, I'll put this over here. Okay. Oh, yeah, I have that I yeah. I'm feeling overall the tribe's really good, really good chemistry. I'm not sketched out by anyone. And like here we have a whole canopy there. too of trees. Right, right. With a layer of so extra protection. We should do it in here. So I think yeah. we should probably Yeah. I think we should do it here. Like under these trees. And not in the it's I feel yeah. like when there's protection you wanna go towards the protection and not like the open out spaces. in the open. I um, agree. But I, that just this is just gonna require more work with clearing. Cool. Is that another potential site over yeah. there? That's what we're yeah, thinking. we're trying to figure it out. It just has a little bit more protection because it's under the canopy. I'm really comfortable being in the woods, so I've done a I, just being outdoors. I'm pretty comfortable and and doing my own survival stuff on my own. That is so yeah yeah yeah. That oh, 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 that actually works really well. And then, but if we were to go this way, and then we had. If we yep. here, close to the other side. Um, but the problem is with this, if it's this tall, we would have to find equally as tall branches to create the wall. Right, you right, right. I mean? um, so we can oh, trim it down as well. Oh, oh my God, yes. <laughs> You're like, what if? 
point at the, the analyst. <laughs> I'm like, this just won't do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm loving Delaney. She's like this little spitfire. She seems very personable. I feel like Delaney would be a very dangerous player. Um, just by looking at her and getting a feel from her, I feel like she could be very, very smart and very, very sneaky and somebody that you definitely need to watch out for. Delaney. Yes? How adventurous are you feeling? What's that? How adventurous are you feeling? I'm adventurous. I'm on Survivor. Let's do it. Yes. I can hoist you up there. Yes. Um, they're all coming out. Yeah. Oh, if someone oh, goes ahead. If you die. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So you like this. I'm so excited. Here it is. Okay, let's both do it. <laughs> I have a shoulder. Okay. Oh, perfect. Okay. Beautiful. Okay. We nice. found our Ozzy. I, like <laughs> I know my social game is pretty good because I'm. I, you know, I'm a bartender and I serve tables, so I know I can do that, but I think this is totally different. We want to keep them dry. I love it. Um, Jess is really physical, so I think that she'll be good to kind of have on my side. Um, like, Trisha's really great. She's from California. Um, Sam is awesome. Like, I think her and I are actually going to jive pretty well, because I think we're both... Excuse me, we're both mental thinkers. So I think Sam is going to be a good ally for me. And I was actually kind of excited when I saw William because I know William outside of the game a little bit. Um, he actually filmed a season that I played before. I really like Sam. I think Sam genuinely really likes me. I don't think Sam really has many connections. Oh, there's a ton of it. Oh my gosh, you're my favorite. That is holy crap. I'm like, I'm just like, it's like. When Trisha walked over to me, we kind of made a little bit of, I don't know, like our eye contact was a little bit different, it seemed like, and I feel like um, we might get along. What lips do you have? Uh... A tick? Oh, yeah. Is it a tick, really? Yeah. Holy, I thought they were supposed to be on legs. Um, oh my god, no! <laughs> okay. Yeah. No. Oh my god. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh. Thank you. Jesus. I like Andy. And Andy, he found something. And it was. It sucks because like, you know, everybody was standing there and then there's, you know, the, the banner and I'm like admiring it and like touch, I was touching the back. Uh, Trisha like kind of fucking with the flag a little bit. And I kind of was like moving back but then Andy comes forward and is like, oh, what's that? And it was like at the same time that I saw this, you know, pouch. And Andy just sort of like picked something up and then he just like, like hey, try. And like showed it to everybody. And it's just like, Okay. <laughs> I mean, obviously, like, at least half the tribe saw him do it anyway, so maybe that's why he was just like, hey, but, like, you know, it's a bit of a bold strategy to just announce it, especially loud enough, and, like, he held it up. I'm sure the other tribe saw it, too. Um, but, I mean, you know, he's fun. Like, he has his little raccoon hat and did his research. You know, it'd be nice to have an alliance with somebody that has an idol. And, you know, I did kind of assist in finding it, if I'm being honest. Like, I touched the... I drew his attention to it. I don't know. Ah. But I guess if I grabbed it, he would have seen it, too. But it, maybe I would be more discreet, but... I made a made a mistake already. I feel like I've made a couple mistakes. I, one mistake is generous. Uh, I've made a few mistakes. Um, I saw the eye. I saw what I assume is actually... I haven't even opened it yet. I, I found something behind our tribe flag. <laughs> I feel like you should have So many people saw me that I kind of. So it's, it's, it's like a. It feels like a giant elephant in my bag. We're all here, right? I think so. Uh, there's eight cool. Us. Cool. It's got a real idle feel to it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, oh it's yeah. a bone. Whoa! Whoa. That's pretty.
Mm. All right, let's read it. This is a tribal immunity necklace. Your tribe has immunity for the next tribal council. <laughs> Found so, a not so hidden immunity. <laughs> Wait, is that what it says? No. It's just oh. <laughs> <laughs> So in this challenge, you're going to choose um, one person who's going to be the balancer and um, everybody else is going to hold up the posts for the balancer to walk across. Um, while you're holding a post, if there's a person on top of it, you cannot move. So you can hold it, they stand on it, and then the people in the back can move to the front. So you'll carry one tribe member um, around on the outside of all four tables. Um, the green tribe is going to go this way, gray tribe is going to go that way. You'll cross and then come back and stop at your cones. Once you get to your cones, three puzzle makers can bring all the puzzle pieces to the top of the spools and start making your word puzzle. Once the word puzzle is complete, you're going to flip the whole puzzle over and there's going to be four numbers in order for your combination lock. Once the flint is retrieved, then you're going to have three people making fire in the center. First tribe's flag to raise wins immunity and reward. All right, Miko, as a reward for winning the first reward challenge, um, we're gonna collect a portion of your puzzle pieces in the next challenge so that you don't have to worry about them. And they'll be ready for you at the, at the puzzle station. All right, I'll give you some time to strategize. Survivor's ready! We, we're ready. Miko's ready. Go! Yep. All right. Do we, can we run now? Yes, yeah, go, 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 go. Caitlin's walking for Miko, and Delaney's walking for Azaban. Yes, you got that. You got it. Hold my shoulders. I think we could do bigger steps if you Okay. Bigger steps. I love that. No, you probably not Okay. I'm going to need some shoulder. Delaney's to the first table for the Azaban tribe. They pass them to Trish. Caitlin's reaching for the green pieces for Miko and passing them to Kaya. There you got it, girl. You're doing so good. Yeah, you're doing really well. Bigger steps if we can, y'all. Both tribes are moving quickly. We're pretty tied right now. Head on head. Oh, then we can go faster. Oh, hell yeah. Okay. okay. Azaban stepping it up and getting much faster. Nico's trying to keep up. Oh, we're gonna spread out a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna grab them. Yep. Oh. Just the table. Sorry. Can you do this angle? Yep. There's the table. So we gotta take them on the inside, you guys. Yeah. Both that's tribes that's have gotten their pieces that's from the second table. Oh, guys, we're about to crash. No worries. That's their problem. <laughs> And they're both just well, going straight into each other. Blocking us isn't the coolest thing to do. Because yeah. now we're just going to block you. Okay. No worries. Stay here. Stay here. Stay here. Stay here. I, I jump over you. I will jump over you. I promise you. Here, we have to come back this way a little bit. What's that, Colin? You guys need to come back. Okay, I'm going to hold on to both of you guys. Okay. Delaney's getting... Getting the nice second, job. the third puzzle pieces for Miko, and Delaney's picking up the third puzzle pieces for Azaban. Yeah. And now both tribes are headed to their fourth and final table. Both tribes definitely have a rhythm going. Good job. Everybody's gonna be on the other side. Okay. Azaban's good job. Woo! Go, go, go. Keep going. Go, go, go. Go oh, down. Hold this. Go past. You're past. the cone. Go around. We got to all be behind the cone. Go, go, go. Oh, we're good to go. Go. Okay. Don't. Don't make. E, E. Don't make. Don't make. Don't make. This. Both tribes are making quick progress. So don't flip that leg. So this. I don't flip. So flip. Good, good. Flip it. Flip it here. Don't be. Fuck. This. Next. This. 
now. Matt's giving some instruction to the Miko tribe. He thinks he's got to figure it out. Zero, five, one, five. Um, I'm tired 
and I want a cigarette, and I miss my nose, and I want to go. That's not what you really want. Uh, kind of, yeah, because I okay. feel bad having someone else. Do you have a number? Okay. That's a bold statement, Kaya. No, it's true. Wow. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> so we had Kaya kind of say, like, that she wanted to go. And I was really liking her, so I don't really want her to go. I don't want her to go. She was super no. helpful today. And she's probably wicked good at challenges. I really like her. I think she's awesome. I think she has a lot to contribute. And probably in the challenges, she'd be good, too. I don't know. So if you want to stay, like, we want to stay with you. So if you want to stay, we'll make something else happen. I don't think it makes us a stronger team, either. Like, you're a strong person. Yeah. If we want to win the next challenge, like, we got to keep the right people around, too. Okay. All right. Tonight is probably going to suck. We don't have a fire, so we can't have food. It's not lit, but we are. <laughs> it seems like a straightforward vote. Yeah, I have not heard any of the names, and that's both unsettling and settling at the same time. Um... There was a chat in the woods. I was in the woods with Matt. Matt, I have a really good feeling about Matt. I'm liking Matt. I mean, we're on the same page. Oh my god, I'm so good to say it. Just say it. Okay. 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 Which I feel helpful. No, we have to. It's okay. We gotta go back. Yeah, I'll come back together. Right. Yeah. Um, well, Kai asked to leave, and there was already talks of possibly John going home. I'm gonna have to vote like for somebody. I think I already kind of put my seeds down, and I'll just keep watering them instead of planting new ones. I'm surprised I haven't seen any smoke from there. Area. Oh, where I wonder if yeah, they, they haven't even bothered yet. <laughs> yeah, they probably They're probably fighting well. about it. <laughs> Um, the other tribe seems like really bickery and um that's cool. I hope they keep doing that. <laughs> but they're all like crouched in the like the walkway. Like, like what are you guys doing yeah. over there? I would say they were going to tribal council the they way they're think all we're out tribal right now and they're gonna let's make fire when it's done or something. There's a lot of strategy over there. I feel like there's like there's like groups and groups like there's all. movement I and mean, and we're just chill around the our non fire. <laughs> like you can tell that there was like even like small bits of like friction, like yeah. even at the challenge, like Yeah. Mike he was very quick to irritate vocally during the challenge. People were pretty frustrated that he seemed to like, I don't know, get really riled up when we tried to cut them off in the challenge, but that was kind of a group thing, and he was like, you're cutting me off, so I don't know, it sounds like projecting. We won the most important one, which was immunity, which feels so good to be able to win the first immunity. No one on our tribe is going to be the first one to get voted out of the game. Um, which feels just, just super nice. I love the challenges. Our team is awesome. I feel like we're really meshing well together, which makes it really hard because then what? Like, who am I gonna, who am I gonna like align myself with? Because I was kind of, I wasn't really worried, but I was like, what if there's gonna be a, a forest or something? Yeah, there isn't, yeah. The only person who's like being extra is like, um, like Mike. Mike? lost his temper a little bit at the challenge the puzzle part of the that last challenge where you had to flip it over and when we flip when we kept flipping it it was getting like we were confusing the pieces so he got a little bit like frustrated and like he voiced his frustration more than normal i also have concerns about mike there was a there was a brief moment when they were flipping the the puzzle in the last challenge where Mike like flipped out for a hot sack. Here goes what goes here. Don't fuck. Uh, and I was like, oh, all right. There was a note that was struck there. Uh, so that has some concerns. Uh, is he maybe short tempered? I don't know. I did the puzzle with him and Sam, but then like, so he seemed to get a little stressed. <laughs> I mean, it's because we were flipping it over, but then like Sam, Sam was leaving on the one side. Like, we were supposed to flip it over to the other side. But then 
he's like, we're doing it wrong. And, <laughs> if he's messing up the vibes, he's done. Like, it's just it's that easy, so, yeah. Three people have approached me to ask to work with me. Uh, Dan, and he said that he would like to work with me. And then Andy approached Will and I and said that he would like to work with both of us. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah totally. Heard. I really like you Good. guys. Yeah, I'm doing great about you guys. Yeah. I quite fun. Yeah, awesome. Uh, Trish yeah. also seems really smart. Yeah. And then Trish, I think she would be really good at challenging. Yeah. Yeah. And we definitely should keep trying to spend with the Lisa group. Yeah, totally. Yeah. They were like work. the moment they were able to build a fire. Yeah, yeah. They were it. Wait, was, how much? How much? Oh. Do we ration it, right? How much? I don't think so, right? We have awards tomorrow, right? It might be no, the no. only right, so I don't know. Mm. Okay, well, we can start with this for now. It's a good amount of rice. I'm gonna start off with two scoops for everyone and see where that goes. So our, our group ate all of our rice. Uh, maybe not the best decision. Yeah. Well, it's weird. I hate raisins, but I love raisins. You don't want rice? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm you debating. Okay. <laughs> Do you have a dietary? I was, I was all about like, it. Thing? Like, please don't. It's not a dietary. I mean, it is a dietary thing, but it's also not. A, it's, it's also a choice. Like, it's a choice, okay. and also I don't feel hungry, so I might just ride it out. Okay. Uh, Trisha, I like Trisha a lot. Um, Trisha is from California, which is super cool, and I'm excited to get to know more about her. The problem is that she's not eating, and she's choosing not to eat, and I don't know what that decision is about. Like, she said she wasn't hungry, but my concern is that come challenge time and come time when we, like, need her to step up and do things, potentially that inability or, or choice to not eat might end up kind of costing... The tribe. You know, I said it's a dietary thing. I don't want to be like, I'm keto. And it's like, do they know what it is? And then I have to explain it. So it's just basically like, it's like, what difference does it make if I like have the energy to perform? Like I get famished after a couple of hours and like I can't function. So in the eyes of other people, like they're like, oh, she's taking risks, not eating the rice. But I feel like pretty confident that I'll be able to, to keep it going. I don't know if we're gonna get put tonight. <laughs> really? I don't know. Oh. Like I don't know. We were, we were literally just talking about. Were you? Like, yeah. Stuff like that. Like, you don't think we're going to travel tonight? I don't know. I don't know. It's. I don't know. Um, I really like Larry, and he's like really nauseous right now. <laughs> and um, he's just really nice. He was like probably the first person that I was like, oh wait, I like you. You're so nice. Um. I don't know, it's like, I just feel weak. And I just, I don't want to, like... I've been trying not to throw up the past two hours. Is water helping or not helping? It's all right. Is that okay? Yeah. Why don't you lay down? Anything you need from us? No, I no. think I'll, I'll, I'll be okay. All right, yeah. Yeah. let us know if you need anything. Yeah, make sure you tell us too, like, if you're feeling worse. Yeah. yeah. If it's heat stroke, then we would want to see, like, Right. We would want to make sure to get you inside yeah. with AC. <laughs> it can creep up on you. Yeah. Can you to help to like go right out for a little bit? I don't know. All right. Well, no so pressure. Just taking it yeah, by minute. Yeah. Yeah. Good. I think once my sunburn wears off, I'll be all right. Yeah. I'm drinking some water to keep going to It'll be better <laughs> tomorrow because it won't be sunny. Yeah. Okay. I want to fight through the night, but I don't see myself getting any better at the moment. And I don't want to quit. Um, especially after waiting two years to do this. Yeah, I think, um, confessional aside, we're also just worried that it's going to progress and that you're going to start feeling worse. Right. Um, and then 
be a more serious situation. Yeah, and that's what I'm concerned about too. Um, like I said, I don't even know if I could do a challenge right now if we had one pop up. Um, I did fine earlier today, but I was also telling them like that's the most physical activity I've done in like three, four years. And so to have it all happen at once on an 80 degree day, um, when I haven't really eaten anything today, um, I've had a lot to drink and I really haven't had to go to the bathroom or anything. Um, it's a little concerning for me. I don't even feel cold right now. And it's a little chilly. Yeah, and everybody at camp has been putting on like pants and like sweatshirts and stuff. And I've been like actively sweating just sitting for the past two hours. Um, so I, I feel like I might have to leave. Basically, I feel like death. I'm oh. sure all of you could tell when we were sitting around the camp and stuff. Um, I'm pretty sure I have heat stroke. Pretty and, close to it, at least. Yeah, and I don't think any of the tools that we have here available to us from the first aid kit and stuff would help. Um, I was just telling them earlier, I don't think I could even do a challenge right now. Um, so I'm going to be pulling myself from the game. Aww. Yeah. We understand. Hopefully that saves you guys from tribal. If not, I'm sorry. <laughs> it will. Yeah. <laughs> it's all right. I mean, I'd rather um, not make this any worse than it right. is. Right. Yeah. As much yeah. as I want to stay. Sure. Sure. Yeah. 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 You're doing the right thing because yeah. you know yourself. Yeah. You know, you no know one knows your body yourself. more than you. Yeah. Yourself. And this is the worst that I've felt in I don't know how long. Yeah. So Hopefully you can come That's... back with redemption for free. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no pressure, Liza. <laughs> you did so good on this pool challenge. You, you were really so did. strong. You, did you were so yeah. strong. Thank you. Yeah. Be proud of what you did today. Thank you. Can I give you a hug? Sure. Aww. Uh, fuck, Aww. if it wasn't so hard to get out of here. We're a little sad right now. But Larry uh, withdrew himself from the game. Um, he wasn't feeling very well, um, so it was his decision. And uh, we know that health is very important, so he needed to take care of himself, and that's what he's doing. We love you, Larry. We love you. Yeah, I love you guys too. Yeah. Good luck. You worked really hard for us too. I know. Yeah. I hope you feel better. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, Take sleep in a nice yourself. bed tonight for yeah. us. Yeah. yeah. Good luck, we'll get you guys. Some food Thank you. Some, yeah. Good luck, Larry. Yeah. Drink some Smoke cold weed. water. Yeah. Hi, Larry. Oh, <laughs> Um. Yeah. So we just found out that Larry is basically medevacking or pulling himself out of the game for not feeling well. Um. And like. I love Larry, he is lovely, um, such a wonderful person, but I'm actually like, kind of glad in a weird way because I really, really didn't want Kaya to be the first vote out. And I think that was, she was kind of offering that up because she knows that there are a lot of people here that really want to play, actually Larry being one of them, and she didn't want to take someone's spot. Um, who really, really wanted to be here as a big super fan has been dying to do one of these games, and Larry's one of those people. But I really want Kaya to be in this game. This sucks. It does yeah. suck. Um, yeah. Production's feeling it as much as you guys are, I promise. Um, I know how long Larry's been waiting to play this game, and I, I am really, really bummed for him. 